and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scout Aggro. Gonna go ahead and try out some more uh, Scouts and attacking and everything with this aggressive version of Scouts. It looks pretty good. This was from Twitch Rivals yesterday. That's what we're doing today. We're playing four decks from uh, the Twitch Rivals tournament yesterday. This deck was from uh, Capital Circuit made this uh, Scouts aggro deck. I like having six one drops. I like that quite a bit. Jagged Butcher is a pretty good one drop. I really like Ranger's Reserve. Um, interesting thing about this deck that, that's different from Scout decks that I've played in the past is no single combat. I think that's pretty interesting. I really do like Hired Gun though. Um, that's So that's a, a good um, two drop. And then also we're playing a bunch of Relentless Pursuits. That's something I haven't really done in the scout decks in the past. Uh, so, you know, we're just playing more more units, you know, get, getting onto the board more and then having these relentless pursuits. Um, I do like the back-to-backs. Uh, you know, Island Navigator has looked pretty good as an as additional scout four drop. So, yeah, this one's going to be pretty interesting. And then and then uh, three Genevieve Elmhart at the top. No Cythrias, um, no Citrus Courier going all Genevieve with the scout. Um, so yeah, this should be pretty pretty interesting. And of course, these relentless pursuits just get more attacks, which is good for Misfortune and for Quinn. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of interaction. We're just going to be attacking all the time. So here we go. Let's uh, play some games. I guess we should probably switch these up. Let's go. Well, let's go to the Demacia board, uh, Hall of Valor, and so then then I guess we'll use the Bilgewater sleeves. I always like using the two regions in that way. All right. Come along, Silver Wing. Here we go. Let's go play five games in ranked. Hey, Super Crazy. Saying, just found your channel. Great job. Keep posting the videos like you are doing. Subscribe. Uh, all right, will do. Just subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you, Super Crazy. All right, so yeah, we'll keep on doing the YouTube videos like, like we have been doing. We were just talking um, before hitting record here. We were just talking about uh, how I, I post usually around four four decks a day sometimes five um and i i record them and then post them right away and kind of if if y'all like that and you you know in the youtube comments feel free to let you know give me some feedback if y'all like that or if you would rather that i uh, spread the videos out over the day and you know post them every you know four hours or so Success. yeah just and so they're not all in a short time period the good part about that is that it's probably easier on a youtube feed subscriptions feed as well as i would probably have more views by doing that but the bad parts of doing that is it's probably worse for uh, y'all like wanting to watch the videos, you know, like maybe, you know, I upload um, You know, like, I, you know, you get to see like whenever I play the first deck you see the others and you're like, oh man I really want to watch, you know, the third deck. I really want to watch Spider Swain, but you gotta wait eight hours or something and then I don't really like that idea I'm not sure if it's better to play Grizzled Ranger or Island Navigator, honestly. I feel like Grizzled Ranger opens up uh, another Static Shock fairly easily. Okay. And that's... And Jay, Jay says, in my opinion, I don't mind all the YouTube videos being uploaded at once, but that's just me. And that's what basically everybody's been saying here, that, that they like having the uh, the videos uploaded, you know, right away. So like they get to see what they, you know, watch the different decks they want. Or right, what's my best play against Vi? If my opponent plays Vi this turn, it's just a attack, they, then they play Vi, then I play win and attack some more because playing something pre-combat then they play Vi they get to block twice 
So I think I just attack to start with. And then they play Vi, then I play like Quinn with the Valor and Challenge. Hope they keep not killing Misfortune. Here comes the punchline. And I also hope got your back. that I find. Punch it. At really want to draw Relentless Pursuit. That's that's honestly just the card that I want to draw more than any other card right now is Relentless Pursuit. All right, GG's. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. That was a great Bright Steel Protector draw. Protector did his job. It protected. Feel like showing all five matches on YouTube makes the videos quite long. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, like the, the videos are kind of long, but you think that people only just want to watch one match per video? I don't know. I think it's a it's a good kind of representation of, of I like the five matches. I think it's a better representation of than just like one little game so you can kind of see it against different things. You know, like we just played Karina Control, now you can see the deck against uh Bannerman. The biggest problem is, or like, not the biggest problem, sorry. I used to do, I, whenever I first started playing Legends of Runeterra, I was playing 10, 10 games per video. And those deck, those videos were basically all two hours long. And I quickly realized that that's too long. And the five games usually makes the videos between like 45 minutes to an hour. That's been better. Uh, how does ranked work on Rune Terra? Are there like placement matches you have to do before they give you a rank? Or you start from the bottom first. Yeah, you ba you basically start at the very bottom. You start at iron rank. There's there's different uh, levels. You start in iron rank, and if you just and basically if you win a certain amount of matches, then you uh, rank up. And get to. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Let's see. Uh, so it goes iron, then bronze, then silver, then gold, then platinum, then diamond, and then master's rank. And when once you're in master's rank, that's where I'm at. Where then you that's when you have like the number and you know you're ranked like number one is the the best. You know down towards to the higher the highest number you know, higher numbers are worse uh let's see go with the badger bear the good thing about going protector is that we could also have rangers resolve but the kind of the problem with going protector is that only protector would protect that thing. Well, Bright Steel Protector means we don't get to attack with other stuff. I We're still just trading one for one. Like, we just traded... Like that's that feels like a really good trade for me. I just traded Fleet Feather Tracker for single combat. I feel like single combat can do a whole lot more 
than what the, that Fleet Feather Tracker does that right, was doing. Grizzled Ranger is still good. Feel the sizzle. No one goes hungry. Eyes bigger. It's kind of annoying. I want to play Bright Seal Protector first, but I like if I play Bright Seal Protector at five mana, they could play Garen. And that would be quite bad for me. So I can play this Ranger's Resolve and save the Badger Bear. is good. I want more Grizzled Rangers. No, not Badger Bears. Grizzled Rangers. Soldiers to me. Oh, misfortune. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. I want to play Elmhart, but I guess we're going misfortune with back to back and Rangers Resolve. Block there. Back with your yapping. I would have to cast both back to back and Rangers Resolve. To keep Misfortune alive. Hmm. Speaking of Rangers Resolve, that was good for them. So I'm down to seven. I can do an additional six here by doing that and that and put them down to one. Or 
just save everything. They could speed up this tough. <laughs> they could speed this up. They have this tough animation. Probably doesn't need to be so much. I think a spell combo decks with Fizz and Twisted Fate. I do have a, a Fizz Twisted Fate deck I really really like, but it's not really a spell combo deck, so I'm I'm not sure what. Yeah, so I'm not sure about spell combo. I think with Fizz Twisted Fate, you know, you want to play all of like the steel cards, for the most part. Our deck's doing well. Wow. It was doing a lot better just a little bit ago. Wow. The Citrus Courier. The Silent Navigator hasn't looked great. Wow. That was great. I mean, healing the Scythria 3 also. Left foot, left foot. No. Yeah, I'll share it. At, I'll share the Fist Twisted Fate after this game. I'm, I'm going to be playing it soon on stream. A bunch. Like, either tomorrow or Sunday I'll be playing it a lot. I really thought we were winning this game. I guess not. I thought we were once, you know, whenever we cast that back to back, I thought we were winning, but just everything after that. You know, like they had the removal from a misfortune. Then, you know, like that Citrus Courier, now Garen and removal. Yeah, it's over. Well, GG's. Obviously, these can attack. I don't know if it's really worth attacking with anything else. Time to make some coin. This is a three of blocks here. This blocks here. That blocks there. They block, block there. Take five. It just doesn't. Like 
Like I would have, they would have made those same blocks and they would have just killed all three of these by just, you know, blocking with all three of those. Problem is I can't, I can't block, like because of Scythria Fearsome, these don't get to block anyway. Yeah, that's true. Allowing the plunder was huge. That's true. You know, I, I guess I need to have. I didn't. I didn't have Cit Citrus Courier on my radar. But yeah, if I would have, I would have blocked and not allowed plunder. Would have made a. a... That would have been definitely would have been good for me. But I don't know if it would have made the difference between winning and losing. They they still had so much gas, and I really didn't. Um, my two top end scout cards have looked unimpressive compared to other options like that that four mana scout really hasn't looked that good and then genevieve compared to cythria cythria is looking a little better i don't know they they had like the removal for the genevieve right away They were playing um, Garen and Fiora. I believe it was Fiora was the other champion. Oh, I didn't. I didn't share the the list that y'all wanted to see. Darn. The Twisted Fate this deck. I don't see. I, I don't have the the list that I'm uh, talking about on Mobile Addicts. I have. So we played Twisted Fizz just a couple of days ago, but I've updated the list. Here you go. There is, that's what we played three days ago. But since then, I've been, I've been, that's the deck that I've really been working on, off stream. And basically, how I've updated it is I, I added. Freljord. Because I didn't... Like, the two mana cards in that deck aren't good. And so I replaced those two mana cards with Starlet Seer. And then also had Omen Hawk. So I have, like, Omen Hawk, Starlet Seer, and Elixir of Iron. Because Elixir of Iron's great. I think those are my only Freljord cards. But I added those three in. It looks, yeah, because it looks like Iron's awesome as well. So is it better to Grizzled Ranger or Double Spell with Hired Gun War Chefs? So I kind of want a Double Spell. Nah, it's better to Grizzled Ranger. No. Should have double spelled. Alright, so House Spider blocks War Chefs. Uh, Sentry blocks Jagged Butcher, and then they just throw the 1 1 in front of the 4 4. that's that great of attack for me and I feel like that lets them um, you know refill the board and everything uh, out of 10 how would I rank that deck probably like a 9 out of 10 been quite enjoying it Nothing gets between me and I was thinking about with that deck to do like a, a longer video and maybe play 10 games of the deck and kind of have more of a uh, and have more of like a rank up stream kind of thing like where we really focus on doing like a deep dive into the deck 
That was a great turn for them. Dang, and pilfer good. Oh, that was a great turn. I'm glad we drew a champion. Not while I've got bullets left. We'll see if that ends up being a decent attack or not. Like we, we do have to clear room for just all these cards in hand. Dangerous water. <laughs> they probably took that from me. Wish they would kind. Of, I wish they would tell you. Be nothing left when I'm done. You can't you can't choose what to hired gun. You can't you can't uh I can't choose to twisted fate. You don't get to grant any enemy vulnerable, you only grant the strongest enemy, so I couldn't just choose Twisted Fate. So you want to get get this toughness back on that thing. So that toughness is going to be good, be there for good. Yeah, the best ass the best ash deck is Sejuani Frostbite. best ash deck i'm i'm just worried like i i kind of want to pull like the the swain towards the misfortune with the protector bright seal protector but i'm just kind of worried i don't know i don't know exactly what i'm worried about with that because of the barrier i guess so if they would have had this they would have done this 
They could have taken out the barrier for misfortune. Because, you know, like, they would definitely try to protect Swain. That thing's already leveled up. Well, I'm dead. Leviathan plus Swain is kind of unbeatable. It's kind of unbeatable. And also leveled up Twisted Fate, also unbeatable, so. This game's over. Hey, Dr. Grindel, welcome back. And getting that resub. Yeah, absolutely, Dr. Grindel, absolutely. Thanks for the sub. Yeah, the game's over. Yeah. What, is it waiting on me? Oh, it's waiting on me. Sorry. Now we plan our revenge. Okay, perfect. That'll work. All right, so we haven't, I wonder if, I wonder how this deck is with Re Relentless Pursuit. We haven't seen that card yet. Uh, I did mulligan it away one time. The question is, how do you feel this game compares to other trading card games out there like Magic Arena and Hearthstone? I, I mean, I think it compares favorably. I think it's a, I think it's the best game out of the three. I think it's the most balanced game by like a, a margin that's not close at all compared to those. I think it took good elements of both. I like how there's a lot of interaction, like magic, but the consistency is there mana-wise, like Hearthstone, but they improved upon that with the spell mana. Mm, no one drop. And no tricks. These Demacia mirrors, you really need the tricks. This this is not a good hand. And we're about to be one and three. Will there be a new game mode in the game? I don't think so. What what kind of what do you mean? Expedition. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, like there's. There'll probably be. Uh, yeah, I think there'll be like tournaments added. Must die. So harsh. 
Oh, right, I forgot about the Misfortune trigger. I should have taken the Fiora. Darn, I was... Ah. Should have taken the Fiora. Love ya. good maybe probably yeah I mean it's good it's good to have a trick should have challenged the Fiora they, they likely would have used something to that's bad that's bad they likely would have used something to keep their Fiora alive but Now we're talking. That could be good. Alright, so when we level up, it should okay, attack. And get a valor. My shield is yours. So the misfig the misfigure trigger is gonna be taking out the barrier for us. Wait, what is going on? Ah, those tricks. I don't doesn't look like Ranger's Resolve is gonna save either of these. No, like Ranger's Resolve doesn't save anything right now. Patience makes perfect. So I guess we just let's see. Wait, single combat. So these are fighting. How does this thing stay alive? Those fight. It takes damage, and then oh, because it goes up to a to two toughness. Right. Yeah, I can't. I can't do anything about this. No, I'm not anticipating best of three in Terra. I think being able to know what your opponent's champions are and everything make makes a big deal. Or like that yeah, like that's that's worth quite a bit.
Fortunately, those tufts don't stack. I'm not exactly sure what I think about best of three. I feel like best of three doesn't fit real well with this game. I feel like the game's kind of too small for best of three. I don't know. I don't have like a, a real stance I love. I just can't figure out any way to win this game either. Oh, the game's over. We were too slow. We didn't do anything for a really long time. And we didn't have any tricks. The the one mana tough haven't looked the best. All right, well, we're going to be trying one more game here with Scout Aggro. But yeah, we're definitely... I've been really disappointed with some of our cards. Like, the four mana Scout has looked really bad. And even Genevieve... Just, like, you know, like compared to, like, the other Demacia decks, like, we were just getting... Like, the other Demacia decks look a lot better, and us not having any removal is not good. I don't like not having single combat or not having the five mana removal spell. My opponents have had removal and they've killed our, my champions and then we've lost. That's just kind of how the, these games have gone. It hasn't been good having no removal. Hey Rex. This game we get to curve out though. We get you know, Tracker, War Chefs, Badger Bear, Ranger. When you're curving out, you don't need removal. And you you would prefer to curve out, you know, than taking a turn off and getting a single combat. You'd prefer to have this. It's just the games like the last game where your hand's really bad and you mulligan and it's still really bad. That you, you don't have, like, a way to catch up if you don't curve out. Our deck is relying on curving out. Doesn't really have an option for games where we don't curve out. Hey, Eric. By my honor, you must die. Welcome. Thanks for that resub, Eric. Saying, just want to say hey again to one of the best streamers around. Thanks, Todd. Aw, thank you, Eric. Glad to hear that, Rex. Rex says, I played your elusive deck from last night, and it's been great. It's awesome. We could have parlay. I suppose. Well, that's a really easy block. Keep them from killing that for free with Fiora. Quid's champion spell is the Blinding Assault. Like That's the name of that card? I knew that was the card, but it was Blinding Assault? I don't know, when you think of Blinding Assault, do you think just put a 2-1 into play? Gets between me and my 
Hey, Maverick, I'm doing good. How are you doing? And new Bloco. I'll probably play this Jagged Butcher next turn. bad. So now Twisted Fate levels up and they're going to have a million cards next turn. This is really bad. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Yeah, we're currently playing a scout deck, but it's not going well. What an amazing turn for my opponent that last turn. Smile. Spider Swain is up next. You can see our schedule over here on the left. We're going to be doing Spider Swain up next and then Twisted Sin after that. So obviously isn't going to work. They're just going to play... Um, they're just going to play any spell and, give, and have a red card go up to kill this. The three in the back row, that's the absolute worst make it rain for me. Fortune trigger, kill that. Now kill this thing. Alright, there goes an unyielding spirit careful Fiora I mean I'm just trying to stay alive I don't really have the ability to play around things.
I feel like if I actually win this game, which is very unlikely. Yeah. That not blocking is the way to do it. So yeah, not too impressed with the scout aggro deck, unfortunately. Um, I didn't like, I didn't like Island Navigator. Just what this card just wasn't strong enough at all. And then honestly, like Genevieve Elmhart didn't seem as good as the other six mana cards that you can play in this kind of deck. Cythria or Citrus Courier. I kind of feel like I'd rather have these six drops than this one. And then, and then besides that, we just didn't have enough tricks. You know, like we have seven spells and three of them are Relentless Pursuits. So we have four tricks, two Rangers Resolves, which also didn't really look that good. And two back-to-backs, which are fine, but we only drew a back-to-back -back once. And that's just not, you know, that, that basically just didn't, you know, like if you curve out perfectly, you have a chance. But as we saw even that last game, I curved out perfectly and we still lose because opponents have spells. Like you have to have spells to play. And, um, and so, yeah, that's why I d really didn't like about this deck. Uh, yeah, so I, I, yeah. So basically I think that, that, uh, as far as top end, like Navigator and Elmhart could be better used as, as like this, these kind of cards, but then also like this deck needs tricks. Like we need, um, whether it's, re we need repost, single combat, stuff like that, um, Ways to protect misfortune would be nice. Um, things like that. So, like, yeah, there's just too many just kind of, like, vanilla cards here. Jagged Butcher didn't look very good because we, we never played this. I guess we played on turn one one time. I guess we did on one time. But besides, you know, besides that, even just later on, it just didn't look that good. Hired Gun, even though it's a card I like, it didn't look that great. Um, yeah, just... I uh, didn't really like this list. So, so far, you know, we've played two two decks from uh, Twitch Rivals yesterday. The Deep Sea Monsters, I was really impressed with that list. And as we talked about, I really liked all, like, the ones and two ofs and stuff like this. So, stuff like that. This list, kind of the exact opposite. Just lots and lots of three ofs. Um, not different cards for different scenarios. And uh, just a, a whole bunch of just three ofs and just kind of smashing your head against the wall. And just not impressed with this list. All right. There we go. That's Scout Aggro. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, I hope you still hit that like button and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you, you know, let me know what you think about those conclusions and stuff like that. But we're going to move on to Spider Swain. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.